Yo, what is up guys? It's Killer Luke for the win. Back with another Clash of Clans gameplay and commentary. Today I'm bringing you guys episode number four, I believe, of Farming in Crystal League. And I think I'm going to continue the series on uh, Farming to Max Out Tunnel 10. So it's going to be like episode number 24 of that, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to update that. I'll probably won't even put it in the title. I'll just throw it in this series uh, along with... Yeah, along with it. So anyways, um... Yeah, back to the gameplay, I found a tunnel tenor that's super inactive, super rushed. Uh, yeah, none of his expos are loaded, none of his infernos are loaded, which is exactly what I like to see. Because me as a tunnel tenor, I'm not getting penalized uh, as far as loot goes. I'm going to have even loot. And yeah, it's freaking perfect. So I got 39 hog riders to go in with. Uh, some clan castle troops. Even some goblins. Apparently somebody gave me goblins in my clan castle. Wow, I just realized that. So that's kind of interesting. Oh well, not that big of a deal since my hog riders are gonna do that much work that they're just gonna make up for these gobbies in my clan castle. Yeah, I got some whizzies to go along with it as well. And as you can see, they did some pretty good work. Uh, surprisingly, my archers actually made it through that wall in the bottom, and this guy must have a terrible base layout because you really only had to make it through. Like one wall there on the bottom left to get to his town hall, which is freaking insane. Uh, especially a Crystal 2 League. And yeah, total on this raid is going to be roughly 600k, a little bit under 600k, maybe like 580, 590k ish. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next raid. Start off on this guy by pulling out his clan castle troops. Now, the thing about this raid was. Granted, it's not the most elite in the world, but I wanted to raid him because he's part of this semi-famous in the Clasher world uh, clan called Cloud9. I believe one of my buddies was in there. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Mystic7 was in there at one point, uh, but he's not anymore. So yeah, I just wanted to raid them just because I could and just because I think it's cool to raid people in these big clans every now and then and show them that legendary barbs, yeah, we out cheer. We out here, no big deal. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just kidding, just kidding. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to go in from the bottom right. I used my archer queen to help kill off his clan castle troops. She's almost dead, but that's fine. We still have a bunch of hog riders left, and this guy has a fairly good-looking Town Hall 9 layout. Looks like he's got some room for some giant bombs in his base, so I'm really going to put it to the test here. As you can see, a bunch of my hog riders on the top just took heat from a giant bomb. Also, the ones on the bottom did, and I'm not really looking at them. But actually, no, I already had a healing spell down there, so that was perfect. That giant bomb is really not going to do too much damage in the long run. Uh, the main thing that's going to hurt my hog riders on this raid is actually going to be his spring traps. So, yeah. Now we're just down to this expo in the center, and my hogs will be free to roam around and three-star this guy. Yeah, we got over a minute and a half left, so plenty of time. Uh, like I said, it's got a pretty decent Title Nine layout. I wouldn't exactly recommend it, though. There's better ones out there for sure. Uh, but yeah, this one held up all right. Only about 10 of my hog riders are left alive out of like 30-something. So that's pretty solid, but it's still not going to stop the wrath of these sexy hogs these freaking detrimental hogs these uh these hooligan no i can't think of a word of, that starts with h for those hogs anyways yeah on this one we're gonna get you know 400 some odd k not that big of a deal but we did just smash on uh sky nine and also we got just enough gold to start the expo to level four so that's mainly what i was shooting for there just just some, like 200k gold or something like that so now that i got that i maxed my expo and i'm going back into raid again and i found over 700k in normal loot about 740k in normal loot also this guy has over a thousand dark elixir and one thing that I definitely made a huge note out of was that he didn't build both of his Infernos at the same time. So he's building one of his Infernos in the center of his base while he's upgrading one, which really makes no sense whatsoever to me. You want to upgrade your Infernos one at a time always. Uh, otherwise, it's just that much easier to three-star you with Hog Riders. Uh, I'm not saying I three-star this guy, but it looks like I should be able to with all freaking five level six healing spells and like 30 some on Hogs. So, yeah, only because that he doesn't have his Inferno Towers. That's just a huge fail. Never, like I say, never upgrade both your Inferno Towers at once. And when you get to Tunnel 10, make sure you make both of them at once. It's definitely a huge help. 
Also, this guy's in a clan, Leet Sauce, 7787, his name's Bing. Uh, that seems like a familiar clan. I don't know this guy or anything like that, but it, that clan name seems a little bit familiar. Uh, maybe I did a base review on somebody in that clan before or something like that. But, yeah, I'm thinking about doing another base review pretty soon here. I haven't done one in a really long time, and that's kind of something that my channel might be lacking a little bit. Uh, I did one, and that's it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too fond of them. People say that, people kind of said that I didn't do the best job in the world of reviewing the base. And I'm like, what exactly qualifies as reviewing the base? I try to point out a couple of things that they could improve on. Uh, I, you know, I, I can't really tell them like how to make their layout. Really, I like to review like their, their buildings, what they need to upgrade. Uh, maybe if they could switch places with a couple of things. Maybe if their splash damage buildings are too close to each other. Just leave a comment what I should point out uh, when doing a base upgrade. I'm, obviously, I'm going to rate your base, you know. Uh, is it good or bad base, you know. Is it pretty good, whatever. Obviously, I'm going to rate it uh, as far as that goes. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you exactly how to make your layout because that's just too complicated. I would just tell everybody, go to my best Town Hall 9 trophy hunting base and copy that. No, I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, uh, just leave a comment if you want me to do more, uh, do more, base reviews and how exactly would you like for me to review them i'd really appreciate your feedback on that note and yeah somehow we actually are managing to three star this guy it's really going to come down to the wire here he had his giant bombs placed in really good spots and stuff like that uh, i think you actually get an extra giant bomb at town hall 10 so that's going to be a huge help for this guy and his base design but nonetheless we are going to actually get a whopping 800k loot on this one yeah, pretty awesome. Like I said, about 740k before the loot bonus, so a little bit over 800k after it, and a good bit of Dark Elixir as well. So now this guy in the next raid actually has over 800k right off the bat. He has about 813k loot right off the bat, and he's a Tunnel Niner. He has a pretty solid uh, layout. You can tell this is going to be another one of those bases that they try to make tricky, try to probably have a lot of spring traps and giant bombs. Uh, but his clan castle troops is definitely nowhere near out of reach. So I'm definitely going to pull out those clan castle troops and kill them off. Uh, looks like he has a couple of wizards in here. And level 10, arch queen, level 11, barbarian king. So yeah, I did leave some music on yesterday's video. Uh, just leave a comment if you want me to continue doing that. I'm probably going to anyways. Uh, that song, I think it was Logic. It was by Logic. It's called 5AM. Uh, the download link is probably in the description. Or, yeah, it's definitely in the description. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm probably going to use some more Logic. In that song, he actually shouts out Skizzy Mars and Chance the Rapper, which is really freaking awesome to me. He actually, I think, I don't know if he's in a song with Skizzy Mars or not. I think he is. But, uh... Yeah, leave a comment if you want me to use some Chance the Rapper. I know he's got this mixtape called Acid Rap that was actually pretty tight, and I thought about using a couple songs on there. Uh, just leave a comment if you know of Chance the Rapper and if you would like me to use any of his music. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to implement that in. You guys can find more artists from that. Uh, if you don't know, then it's definitely if you if you haven't heard of him, it's definitely worth a shot for me to play one of his good songs. Because you guys tend to think I have pretty good taste in music. At least the majority of you guys do. So anyways, also, um, I was going to use a song on this video. But I just got so wrapped up in the commentary. I was just, I was just in commentary mode today. No big deal. Uh, so yeah, forgot to even add music. Uh, yeah, also leave a comment if you want me to make my videos a little bit longer. Uh, you guys have been so active. I mean, you, you guys got me to over 15,000 subscribers. By the way, thank you so much for that. Thanks a ton for 15k subs. Uh, we just hit 1.6 million views. Just my channel is blowing up, basically. Uh, you know, in other words. Uh, also, one more thing. Uh, one more thing is this this dot, this little square on the top of my screen, kind of up to the top right. Uh, that is, it's like a it's like a tool for your iPhone. Uh, basically, the sleep button on my iPhone does not work, and it's super annoying. By the way, we got over 870K, about 890, almost 900K on that one. So, yeah, that thing is there so that I can put my iPhone to sleep without actually pressing the sleep button because the sleep button's broken on my iPhone. So, leave a comment if that bothers you. I could actually take it out of my videos whenever I record. Or, yeah, take it out of my iPhone before I record. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. I'm out. Peace.